I am currently doing my makeup. <laughs> SD card full. That's good, isn't it? Well, good morning. I am currently out walking the dog that's down there somewhere. Um, it's about half six, just giving him a quick blast and then I'm gonna head over to uh, Stanek and meet Al because we've got some very exciting new products to shoot today. So yeah, we're gonna make a couple of short videos on them. Um, something we've been working on for quite a while now. So yeah, it's quite exciting to release these. Um, he actually fished down there last night as well, so hopefully he's caught one. If not, I'm sure he's going to have a chance for that today as well. But as you can see, it's a lovely morning. So yeah, I'm going to carry on walking the dog, get back, and then um, I'll see you down the lake at some point. Before I go anywhere, this is a must have in the morning. Can't start the day without a coffee. Right, so I've just come down, met Al, and if you remember in our last video, um, Al nearly gave the game away with some special powders, didn't you? Certainly did. But. Now reveal all. Ooh, right, what, we, what have we got? So today we are shooting a new range of booster powders. So these are dedicated to each boilie within the range, so Live System, Triple X and Pacific Tuna. And we've worked to create a special blend of powders which are perfectly matched to the boilie. They're suitable for lots of different uses. We'll release a video at some later date basically, but we have a Live System on there, the Odyssey Triple X Booster Powder, I don't know if you can see that. And finally the Pacific Tuna boost powder and we've um, we've used a special way of getting the flavours from the boilie to incorporate into a powder and added some other sort of natural ingredients into there as well so these are going to be hugely popular so uh, stick around to watch later in the video and you might be able to have a chance of winning some of these Ooh, a little competition eh? I reckon so yeah get a little comp in there early that's it uh, right let's uh, get filming them yeah Get some photos done and uh, yeah. see what the rest of the day brings. So, trying to get some filming done. And we're getting rudely interrupted by. Just go out there. Oh. See, I'd have been on the ball with that. There you go. I'd have been on the ball. Fluffing off out there. What do you say, flopping off? <laughs> flopping out. Hey. Flopping off, yeah, that's what I said. There you go. Oh no, we've got a full army of them coming out. He's not happy. He is not happy. See, I'm nice. I'll give him a little helping hand along the way, look. I'm still not happy with me. Do you want some? No, you're not happy, are you? Come on, guys. Food's up, big rub. <laughs> no, uh, oh, there behind we go. the scenes here. Just getting the right shot. Getting the right angles in, mate. We'll do a multitude of different shots. <laughs>
bike written all over it. What do you reckon? I reckon pretty good. Tuna, bit of a tuna bait booster, and a new tuna boosting powder. Yeah, might have to use those tonight, eh? Look, spot on. Tail a little bit to me. It's nice to that side, isn't it? On Chris, what was this one on? This was on a little tuna dumbbell cut in half with a tuna white top. Bit of bait around it or not? Yeah, just a crumbled tuna, mate. Oh, nice. Simple fishing, mate. Simple edge fishing. Simple fishing for a simple angler. <laughs> Got another simple angler here as well. Not me, mate. <laughs> not me. Oh, look at him there. Sonic Lake's finest. What have you got to say? What's your tips? Stocky city, isn't it? <laughs> Ten stock is in the catch and all of them. It was only past you, wouldn't it? Look at that, not a care in the world. To put it into perspective, that fat one there with a load of white on his back, he's a 40 pounder. So, gives you a rough idea on the size of the other ones just sitting in their little safe zone at the back of the snag, living their best life. Having a little feed, you can see all that exposed clay there just next to them from where they've been flanking. Loving it. And we've got a mid 30 scaly, scaly one down there having a little flank and 40 pound common. Look at that, bosh. So Alex thinks it's a good idea to put chops out with a catapult. Give us a demonstration, Al. Show you his boss. Ready? Pew! Let that go everywhere. <laughs> What's going on here then, mate? Gonna do a little bit of fish spotting. We love cheating with the drone at CC Mall. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> you can't say that. There's, there's some shallow water over here, and I just want to get a little bit of footage of some fish going over the top of the weed with the drone just for a film that we're working on. Um, but my drone needs updating, so yeah. bear with. <laughs> a few moments later. SD card full. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> More moments later. Are we going to get this drone up today or what? No. Clear video cache. That'll work, won't it? Delete. This is what happens at a day at CC Moor. Spend Useless. half your day trying to sort your drone out. Useless. Useless. Um, I need to go and get a new memory card. <laughs> much, much, much later. Right, are we actually going to do it this time? Yeah, 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 I'm good to go. Third what, time looking. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you how many fish are in front of you that you're not catching. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> if we put it in the tree. So we're just having a little look around. Would, would you place a rig on that? I don't think I would, no. Is too, it too blatant? Too blatant, yeah. Is it one of them spots that has grown and then blown? Grown and blown. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see if we can find some fish, shall we? Let's go and have a little nose. Let me go a little bit higher. See, I think the areas you want to be looking for are these sort of like depressions in the weed here. 
where it goes down to a little bit deeper water. So what's that weed around it? I think Is that it, still silkweed or not? Yeah, I think it's a bit of um, like bunches of silkweed with the odd strand of like Canadian in. Um, luckily, I have. There's not a lot in front of you at the minute, so... There's a big close spot over there. Yeah, there's a nice little clean area. Oh, there's one. Oh, let's get let's get a little shot of this loner on his own. He's literally on his own, isn't he? Yeah, he's a loner, mate, yeah. It's not a very big one either, but it's a car. really shallow water there it's probably from the weed to the surface there's probably only 18 inches two foot mm. but there must be a horde of them somewhere Let's have a look. as you can see by that Elson's is incredibly weedy down this end there's a few clear spots in between yeah but there and stuff. It's cool to look at from a bird's eye view sort of perspective though. Scary. Mm. Makes you think, oh, is it even fishable? Exactly. back in the studio today and I'll just do a quick video on uh, some boily fishing tips um, so we've got some, some I've pretty much done all the filming I've got to uh, just do the tank shot so I've got the bits I've done so far there um, yeah so uh, let's get those tank shots done and uh, then it's time to edit Best way to start the day. Other brands are available. Next up, turtle angling. So here we are, turtle angling. And a proper shop day today. Uh, There's going to be us here and fox as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good day to get inside and get set up. Leon told me to give these to you. He says you're blanking too much. You need to use them. Shut up. <laughs> Watch out, uh, more studio work today. Um, our colleague Spro in Europe, um, they've been doing a new catalog, so we need to do some new photos for them. So we're going to put a load of bits together and get, get those photos done for them and get them off to them so they can get them in their catalog for uh, their next release. So the last time you would have saw me, I would have been out with Alex and we were shooting the boily booster powder videos and photos. Now I'm just in the process of editing all that together and while we were there, obviously we coated the boilies and whatnot and I decided to introduce them onto a couple of little edge spots. Now I thought live system's the most visual so we can keep an eye on it and um, yeah it did not disappoint so I managed to get a bit of underwater footage with my GoPro so I just thought I'd show you exactly how the fish reacted to the bait and um, yeah as you'll see by the video we got a brilliant reaction from them um, 
So yeah, I'll uh, swing the camera around and I'll show you a couple of short clips on what went on. So as you can see here, I've got the GoPro in position and if I just press play, there's the baits going down that have been coated and instantly fish come and investigate, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then after a couple of minutes of them fish being around, we did actually manage to get a few feed in. So as you'll see here, one thing that's really interesting is when this fish starts feeding, look at all of the powders that float up through the layers. Look at that. All that sediment is the powder from the bait. How much attraction is that? Epic. Well, how cool was that? Just seeing the amount of attraction leaking off of them boilies was just phenomenal, really. And you think, like, even when all of them baits have gone, um, all of them powders would have clung into the sediment in the silt, into the gravel, under stones, anything. And it's just going to keep them fish returning time after time. It's took us a long, long time to get these powders right. And God knows how many test batches I've received. But... They are definitely the one now. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna crack on, edit the rest of this film up, and yeah, no doubt when I next see you, I'll be out on the bank, and hopefully catching a few fish with whoever I may be filming. So, thought I'd come down uh, <clears throat> for a bit of float fishing after work. Down at A1 pit, pit number three. It's just gone half seven, and I've got one. So, uh, if I get down here, take a closer look. Lovely evening, it's been scorchier today. Sat at home in the office thinking, oh, all I want to do is go float fishing. So I thought, oh, I'll come down here and have a go for one. I've been trying so hard all afternoon, well, not afternoon, but all since I got here, just after work. And there we go, there's the prize. So, there's my prize. A little gnarly common. Worked for the past hour or so trying to get one. Finally managed to get a bite. So, it's a lovely fish actually. It's quite an old gnarly one. So, um, yeah, I get a slip back. Time for another beer. Luckily, the hook fell out in the net. But that's what I had to run. A little trim down duo flow at hook bait and all I've done there is super glue the hook into a bit of a sort of groove that I've made in the hook bait. This is what I've been feeding our 11 mil floating trout pellets but all I've done to these actually is give them a um, good glaze in our salmon oil followed by some of the new tuna booster powder and they look delightful. Certainly done the trip for me tonight. Out there, we well, have got some carp, and there's quite a few down in this bay, so yeah, I think I'm going to introduce some flyers. Might have to put some oil on them. Well, this is what I brought down with me for today. Um, it is one of our, where's the label? Oily Salmon Floater Session Packs. Um, haven't got the oil with me because I've already put it on. Them floaters have been soaking in it for ages. As you can see, they're bone dry again now, but it just means they release the oil slowly sort of into the water column, um, keeping that water nice and flat out there. The ripple has actually died off now, and as you can see out there, I have got them going. So, yeah, I'm using a throwing stick to get the baits out because, as everyone knows, oil eats catapult elastic. So yeah, I'm going to keep on feeding them for another 10 or 15 minutes and then um, yeah, we'll have a go, I think.
we've only got to look one. And it's not one of the stockies either, but I don't think it's beasting me. It's all the way out there, isn't it? All right, I need to concentrate. we go. Hours result. Lovely scaly one. We're all spawned out and it absolutely beasted me but yeah there we go. Happy happy days and I'm gonna get him back because it's very warm and I think he's about to kick off. So oh I knew he was good mate. Well, good morning. I am currently doing my makeup. No, I'm joking. I'm putting some sun cream on because I'm out filming today with Jimmy. Um, we are doing a little floater piece and he should be here any minute. Um, it's only half eight in the morning and already it is well over 20 degrees. So it's going to be a warm day. I'm just using near enough a whole bottle of sun cream on my ears because my ears are massive. We all know that. Dobby is free. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we're going to start off here. We're at Castle Ashby to begin with and um, hopefully we can get a few bites. It's normally good for a bite here. So yeah, we're going to start off here and then if it goes well, we're going to have a move to another lake with the chance of um, some really nice ones. Uh, it's obviously a little bit harder. Um, it can be quite difficult on days, um, but there is some really, really nice carp in there. So yeah, I'll keep you posted throughout the day. I'm sure I can give Jimmy some punishment for the for the vlog. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon. There's no one on the brickyard, mate. Let's go on the brickyard. Here he is. <laughs> How we doing? Let's go on the brickyard, mate. And catch some goldfish. <laughs> looks good for it. Yeah, it looks good. Good. Looks very good out there. We're going to club them? It's a lovely day for it, isn't it? Oh, he's even got the sliders on there. Yeah, mate. It's summertime. That's it. <laughs> All right, let's get some gear out and go and have a wander, shall we? Sounds good. Well, it looks like Castle Ashby is going to be a write-off. They should have done this months ago. <laughs> um, loads of fish spawning down there. One very unhappy Jimmy. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're going to have to go somewhere else. Maybe we'll go and have a look at the lake next door, see yeah. if they're um, going on there. But... Randy sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, you get him, boy. You get him. Smashing everything inside, you can't fail. Well, we've moved lake three, four times now, and we're now over at Stanick on Mallard. And it's proven a little bit tricky. <laughs> um, the birds are a nightmare. We've got a scare line out there. It's not helping. <laughs> These goals are just absolutely wild. So yeah, every time we put a pouch out, the birds just come and ruin it basically and the fish don't look overly interested either which isn't ideal but we will carry on we will keep on trying 
You will pull it out of the bag eventually. <sighs> we have caught one, although it's not enough for a film. Did that have one then? All oh, right. But yeah, we'll keep keep trying, and uh, I'll let you know if anything else happens. Well, we've moved lakes yet again, and the girls are still being a nuisance. And the fish just aren't really having it today. But, Jimmy, I want three of your top tips for floater fishing, but I'm only going to give you 60 seconds to answer. So How give many? me three, three top tips for floater fishing. Go. Don't go. <laughs> three top tips. Um, go as light as you can light as you can, there's weed in here, um, so you have got to be careful, but yeah, go as light as you can. Um, cast past the fish, you draw the float back onto them, so don't cast straight onto the fish, and use a mixture of floating pellets. Cool, nailed it. Well, I think we're gonna wrap it up for today. They're not having it, and I feel, and Jimmy also feels like we're wasting our time, so, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up for today. We'll try again another day, Jimbo. <laughs> you did catch one, albeit, cool one. albeit it was tiny, bit, but. Bit of a worm. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I'll see you next time. I'm probably out on the back. Well, good evening. How about that for a sunset? Just got down the lake. I'm gonna do an overnighter. It's been 32 degrees today. Um, so, thought I'd come down in the evening. It's still warm now. Um, got some fish going straight away on the top, but as you can see there, the swans have got young and they're not happy about the fish being up on the surface and they keep attacking them, which isn't ideal. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna fish sort of in this bay behind me for the night. It's where I caught one the other day on a floater. Um, so yeah, and there's still, there's still plenty of fish down here. So yeah, I'm gonna get sorted, get some stuff prepped and get some rods out. Oh, well, good morning. Really different morning this morning. Overcast, temperature's dropping a little bit, and there's a thunderstorm on this way, apparently. And got one. Nice mid to upper 20 common in there. So, yeah, right result. Had that about half an hour ago. My mate's on his way around now. Um, he's gonna do a night. I don't know where he's going to go, but he's going to do me some photos and stuff while he's there and have a brew and whatnot. I think I'm going to be off this morning anyway, because I've uh, got a lot to do today. But, um, it's been quite a cool morning. I've been watching the bar now, working in the field behind me, and it didn't actually spot me, and it came right above my head, which was epic. And I'm not sure, but I've just put out a pole or two of floaters, and there's a lot of rings coming out from this bush over here. That's where I had them feeding yesterday, so might even get a chance on a flyer before we go today. That was on. It's just started raining. Great. Oh well. So here's a quick little look at the mix that I've been using. We have got 15 mil tuna and some chops, some 10 mil tuna, some 6 mil tuna pellet and some betaine ultra mix. There is a few rogue live system boilies in there as well from uh, when we were out product filming the new booster powders the other day. But yeah, that's basically it. Six or seven spawns over each rod. Lovely, lovely. Definitely male. Let's try that tail. 
That's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I'm sure it's one I've seen before. Crazy, it's that. It's quite isn't recognizable, it? like that, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a marlin. There we go. Angry, angry male, massive fins, big attitude, and a lovely way to spend the evening last night. Nice and warm, and a carp to show for it this morning. Probably going to be the only fish of the trip, but there we go. Right result. There we go. One last look. There's a 50 pound common take it out of my hands. <laughs> Look at the size of that. It's incredible. Isn't it? I'm just going to say that it's my first, my first sort of organised trip abroad, really, and I think I'm lucky because it's come with a few guys who have plenty of experience of fishing out here, done lots and lots of fishing on, on lots of venues, and uh, been fortunate in the sense that they really know what is and what isn't a suitable venue or, or a really top venue. And I have to be honest and say that Carp Zoo really is a top venue. It's a great lake, it's a gravel pit, sort of 40 odd acres. So there's a lot of fishing in here that is similar to fishing proper gravel pits in the UK. Obviously with some re really big fish in it. Um, lovely looking fish in really good nick. And, uh, and Tom and Marina, who, uh, who own and run the lake, a great, great host. Food is really good. Um, all the facilities are excellent, so you do things like showers and somewhere to eat at night. Everybody tends to get together at 5, 5.30 and have a meal, which is, which is great. And the food, really good quality, something different every night. Good breakfast in the morning, either a big baguette or even a plated breakfast meal. Um, and the, as I said, the quality of fish and the quality of fishing is excellent. And this place is just definitely going to go from strength to strength. So lucky to, to be fishing such a place. About sort of three, three and a half hours from, from Calm, we came across on the ferry from uh, Portsmouth, which is quite handy for us. So really easy access. Got here, um, got here on the, f landed on the Friday evening, then travelled on on Saturday morning. So quite a nice sort of comfortable comfortable time but um, comfortable journey but yeah lovely place I can highly recommend it so definitely uh, we'll be coming back ho hopefully multiple times again So these are the products I'm using. A um, couple bits here uh, from from Tom here at Carp Zoo. So you'll see that I've got his particle mix here, which is um, this is a mix of of maize, bit of hemp and wheat. And the fish get fed this regularly, so it's quite nice because you got obviously the visual attraction of the maize. Obviously wheat's light in colour as well, but the wheat is um, nice and starchy and sort of soft and, and easily easy to digest bit of hemp in there as well there's the wheat so you can see that really sort of split, splits out is it really sort of starchy um and a bit of hemp in there as well now to that i am adding pellet which is um this is like an eight mil ten mil sort of betaine type pellet halibut pellet tom sells that here and of course we do bt and hmb pellets which are actually the same sort of same sort of product so if i just show you what I do, put a bit of that into the, into the mix. I've then got um, some Life System Crumb. Now, that's Life System Crumb there. And I want that so that I get a nice cloud and attraction when I'm baiting up. Um, but also lots of flavour and aroma in that, in that cloud. 
um, straight away, straight from the off. Obviously you don't get that from the pellet. The pellet takes a little while to start, start breaking down. And of course, uh, I want sort of instant attraction. Now I've also got 10 millers. So again, a few handfuls of 10 millers, doesn't, don't need loads. I want lots and lots and lots of different bits and pieces out there to keep them uh, occupied and keep them moving around the swim and uh, feeding in the area for a bit longer. Now I also just put a few, um, a few line system 15 millers in there, not too many. And I'm using those, putting those in because that's actually what I'm using on the hook. I'm using a, uh, a 15 mil uh, pop-up on a Ronnie rig. So now to that, I add a bit of this, which many of you will know is Amino Blend 365. The fish just love it. It's um, nice and sweet, got quite a distinctive aroma to it. Um, really soluble, quite sticky, quite, as I said, sweet, and obviously really goes well with the system. Uh, well, and actually with the wheat and the maize as well. So it makes quite a nice little, quite a nice little mix. Now, if I look at that, that is still a little bit wet and so to that I just want to add a bit more life system crumb which is easy to make you know you can just take you don't need again loads of it but you can just take the boilie crumb it up in your in your crusher or whatever your monkey ridge monkey grind or whatever and uh, and that will obviously sort of take on moisture and, and soak in so if you leave that for sort of half an hour that will be you know become quite stodgy as the uh, as the life system crumb starts to really take on water. That increases the clouding properties of the mix. Um, and if it gets too stodgy, obviously all you do is just add a bit more water, but um, you'll see that will be quite different in, in sort of half an hour. But that's the mix. What if I have two on the old life system? Look at that. French PB, happy with that? <laughs> uh, thanks mate. Ready, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're on. Get in. Watch out. As you can see, I'm in the studio today, this morning. Yeah, we're, uh, we're recording some tips on how to use a new product that's due to be released later. I'm probably, I'm not sure, I think it might even be out by the time you see this. So, um, yeah, it's actually um, some booster powders that we've been working on. Um, we've been working on them for a long time. Um, and they're all based around our, there's three of them, and they're based around our boiling range. Some of you may have seen them earlier in the year, you have at least seen the live system version earlier in the year at the shows that we did. Um, we released that, you know, exclusive to the shows. Very pungent, matched the boiling flavors perfectly. Very interesting products, um, with lots you can do with them. Very strong, very complementary to the body range. So have a look for that on the Insights channel. Um, make sure you subscribe to that channel as well as this one, um, and then you'll be notified every time we release a video. Now you may remember that in the last vlog we've done a competition for some NS1 minis. Um, I'm gonna just put those winners up here, the five winners. Well done, um, we'll get those out to you. If you can just message us on social media, direct message um, with your details and yeah, we'll get those out to you as soon as possible. This vlog, as we're looking at the booster powders, there's gonna be a chance to win some of those. So yeah, not sure if they're gonna be released by the time this comes out. I think they might be. Not sure. You get a chance to win them anyway, whether they're released or not. Let us know which powder you would like. So Live System, Triple X, Tuna, and um, tell us how you intend to use it. Um, comment below, and you could be a chance to win some of these new, as of yet, unreleased products. This has to be my favorite tip. Uh, from the booster powders, um, using them in solid PVA bags around the hook bay. So it, cushion, it cushions it rather than risking blunting your hook with any pellet, um, use the booster powder. Yeah, and that makes loads of attraction at the bottom of your bag around your hook bait as well. So 
really pulling them into the hook by area of the of the parcel of food that you're putting out there so yeah really like that i like that tip so much this pot here let's get in my tackle bag um i'll let you know if i have any results morning not in the studio this time um, I'm actually at my syndicate lake I got here late last night I've got a day off today got here late last night after work yeah it was blowing a hoolie and I was struggling to get the spot out gave up on it because it wasn't going where I wanted it to and I put out a couple of solid bags now they were using the Pacific tuna um, booster powder um, in a solid bag like I showed you and yeah I've had two so yeah, I had a, uh, what, about 1.30 in the morning, I had a little one that ran about 15, 16 pound, very unusual for here. And then this morning, uh, just as it got light, I had a 24.2, a uh, nice scaly one. So yeah, so yeah, get on that tuna booster powder. It's really good. That was on the PVA bags like I showed you. And uh, yeah, there's the, uh, there's the old mat drying. So yeah, happy days. Good morning, back in the studio. And today I've got some photos to get done in here uh, for a website of the new booster powders that were gonna be released um, soon, if they're not already when you, out when you see this. And uh, yeah, they're also for Spro's catalog as well. They'll be the same images. So yeah, let's get to it. Back and uh, we'll have another go. Lovely fish. Last one, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not filming, mate. No. <laughs> Lee's prize. Little comment. Well done, mate. Good, mate. 
more pleased with that one. Yes, mate. Still got them going, are you? Oh, See what we've got in the net. Right, there's the final price. Nice bit of evening's float for chip. Me and the, yeah, the float for is a nice 20 pounder, so pretty just. Off home now, well deserved beer, I reckon. Well done, mate. Thanks very much. Good session, eh? It's been brilliant, mate. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. We're doing a mag piece today and basically the mix that he's been using is consisting of everything I've got in this box. It's just in kilo bags rather than the five kilo bags. It just looks a little bit neater for the mag piece. So we've got Bellicum pellets, 10 mil tuna, 15 mil tuna and blood worm pellets as well. And then it's just glazing it all in. Oh, where are we? Marina Mino 365. So yeah, we're gonna rip, rattle off some shots now, get a mag piece done, and uh, see what the rest of the day brings. So the mix that Sean's using, 15 mil tuna he's actually using is chops. So, is he chopping them up with his hands at the minute? So I can get a nice photo. Just for the little bait sequence part in the mag piece. At the minute, in there we've got, obviously the pellet and the boilie, and then these will go on top. A Little bit of liquid. What's been doing the bike skis, isn't it? Oh yes, a lot of liquid. But it's in the range and that's the form of Live System, Pacific Tuna and Odyssey Triple X. to the team. Yeah. So Can't what did you get in the pack? So in this, two kilos, 11 mil floating pellet, a little pot of the matching hook baits. Get them in both colours, well, light coloured one and dark colour, depending on what the fish taken. Nice. And uh, some matching liquid. Got the oily salmon, which is a bit of a ripple on, you know, flattens it out nice, or if you've got any of that horrible fluffy scum. And the bloodworm one, for if you fancy something a little bit more natural. Great bits of kit. Perfect just for storing in the van, you know, after work, floater session. Yeah, can't recommend them enough. So uh, check them out, floater session packs, you can get them online. Yeah, give them a go this summer. Definitely. Hey, uh, What's going on here then? Stuff. Some nice little secret tub baits. Stuff, mate. Stuff. Sneaky little new powder. We like that. Have you used it yet? Yeah, yeah, got it all over. Nice. I've been using it for months. Wow. Let me grossy love a little edge. You do, mate. It'll be out. By the time everyone sees this, it will be out, won't it? Uh, it will be. Yeah, it will be actually. Yeah, yeah, it'll it be out. Be. Yeah. Sure. Genuinely, it's mega. Have a look at these. Uh. Oh, they look nice. They're the daddy, aren't they? They do look good. Yeah. Fish a chuck, that. Wanna chuck? Wanna chuck? Wanna chuck? Right, let's wrap up this mag piece, get done.